Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of FLH. It's going to be a great one tonight. Um, so just buckle up for this one. But anyway guys, we are going to have a very unique match. We're going to have a tag team match with a manager on one side. and Well, on both sides actually. But guess who that manager is on one side? It is me. That is right. And guys, I, um, they've just updated um, the equipment that I use. So now I have a microphone on my suit that I can walk around. You guys can hear me, which is going to be amazing. So I, I'll, I'll be right in the action. And it's going to be so cool. I'm tired of sitting anyway. I, You know, I... I, I don't like a desk job, and I don't like a job where I stand on my feet all day. I like a balance of both. That's what I like. So I am going to be out there in the field tonight, breaking you the wrestling highlights of this match, and it's going to be amazing, and here I come. Let's go, everyone. Let's go. Let's get this crowd pumped up. Yeah. Yeah! 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 Let's go! And I am here tonight, walking down this beautiful, lovely ramp. Let's go! <laughs> Me and my boy, Newson. And we are the talk of the town, guys. Yeah! Let's go! I am pumped up for this match, and uh, yeah, I'm going to wave that arm around like there's no tomorrow, because there isn't no tomorrow when we're here. Yeah! Okay, I'm getting a little too excited here. But anyway, guys, um, our opponents are, have been very, very um, destructive as of late, and Newsom Barafia... Um, and me are going to have to deal with two of them at Extreme Rules, which I'm ready for that. Um, and it is the big boys. The big boys are here tonight. And uh, Juggernaut, Jason X, Kingpin, uh, giving away cereal. Well, why don't you uh, take that down to the shelter where they're in need of cereal instead of throwing it to the fans, half of them you hit right in the head, and then we'll get a lawsuit against us. And then the Kingpin with delicious pancakes that he will not give to me. I want them. And then Juggernaut is pretending to play the trumpet. He's not playing no trumpet. I'm ready to fight. Well, I'm not ready to fight because, um, obviously... This is just a tragedy. What is it taking place here tonight? And throw me some pancakes, Kingpin. Oh my goodness. And look at Juggernaut playing the pretending to play the trumpet. We all know he's not. Because watch, the music cuts. See? I told you he wasn't. So, anyway, let's go. And I am pumped up. I am walking around with these lovely fans. And woman, get out of my face. Woman, get out of my face. I'm warning that woman again. If she ever gets in my face again, she's yelling in my ears. And I can't stand it. Oh, my goodness. It's great to be out here walking around finally. And uh-oh. Here's Kingpin. Yeah. Hey! You better give me those pancakes next time, moron! You better! Hey! You look at me when I talk to you, moron! Give me the pancakes! Yeah, I've had enough of that. He, he's throwing pancakes. I want the pancakes. <laughs> hey, Ken. Uh, our maintenance man, Carl, is going to be a few minutes late. So if you could take those uh, steel steps, they're, they're the rusty ones, uh, to the ramp. So that way he can pick them up and make the process a little bit faster. He's going to be replacing 
uh, the steel steps before the next match starts. But in order to do that, he needs to throw the rusted ones out. So if you could just take those steel steps to the ramp for us, uh, it'd be highly appreciated. I know it's not your job, um, but he is a little bit late. His wife's car broke down, but he, he's going to be uh, here in about 10 minutes to replace those steps for me. But um, in order to make the process faster, I appreciate if you take the steel steps to the ramp. That way he could just throw them in the back of his truck when he drives it out to the ramp. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, last week his cat was sick. Oh my goodness, now I got... Guys, if the angle is off on this video, I'm sorry. Uh, the cameraman's also got to watch me take these steps all the way to the end of the ramp. Oh my goodness, this, this guy, he's going to get fired next week if he keeps this up. Oh, I'm sick of this. How does steel steps get rusty? How does that happen? I guess it's possible. Uh -huh. I guess we're, uh, there goes one. Oh my goodness. This is getting on my nerves. This is the last time I do this kind of work. So much for broadcasting. I'm doing everyone's job now. Heck, I'm going for the tag team titles. Oh my goodness. Ugh. This one's probably going to be heavier. Oh, God. There we go. Oh, my goodness. What are they... He better move out of my way or I'll smack him with those. Yeah, you be... Yeah. You better not touch me. If you lay a finger on me, Mr. Kingpin, I will smack you with these. I, I swear they put sandbags in these things or something. They're so heavy. These were meant for John Cena to pick up, not m me to pick up. I'm going to put out my back if I keep this up. And I, I apologize, guys. The cameraman's just got to make sure that I drop him down in the right spot. It looks like he's confirmed that I have. So it looks like we're going to go back to the match. Um, yeah. And it looks like, oh, kick out by Newsom. I really don't like this angle that I'm standing in. Uh, so I am probably going to move from this angle. Because I don't want that man's butt in my face. And Juggernaut's doing a pretty good job here against Newsom. I'll have to face him and Jason X next week. I'm, I'm looking for strategy, guys. How do I beat these guys? How do I win that tag team titles against these guys? And it's going to be tough. Newsom's going to have another two matches at Extreme Rules. He's gonna, there's going to be a number one contendership for the Cruiserweight title later tonight. I don't know what Juggernaut's doing. Oh, nice reversal by Newsom. Let's see if I could get into some trouble here. I'm studying the match, guys. Observing is the word for it. And here comes Newsom. And Blue Neck with a nice move there. That was a pretty good one. And we got a match here. We have a match indeed.
And also tonight, guys, we're going to have an eight-man. Uh, um, it's called, uh, well, I'll, well, I'll talk about that later. We're going to have an eight-man match. And we're also going to have a fatal four-way. And look at Kingpin interfering. Oh, did my hand slip? Kingpin better not interfere again. You better not interfere again. You understand me? You better not. Blue Nax laying down the juggernaut. Oh my goodness, I gotta stop Jason Axe before he gets in this ring. Oh, oh man, I slipped and fell. Wait, I'm trying to get out, ref. I'm trying to get out. No, 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 you can't. You can't. You can't eject me. Come on. What? I fell. I've been ejected. Goodness. I just went in, I wanted to get in the rain and I slipped. I couldn't help it. I was trying to leave. This is baloney. I get ejected. Ugh. That referee's gonna, um, uh, uh, gonna get a, a letter from a lawyer in the mail. That's what he's gonna get. You mark my words. Hey, 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 referee who's blind, eject this guy. He doesn't eject him. His hands were touching the ropes. He doesn't even get penalized for it. It's completely legal. Give me a break. And now I'm back in my desk job. So much for walking around and having some fun. And Juggernaut, oh no, bear hug on Blue Neck. Can Blue Neck get out of it's the question. We also have a women's match tonight. We got a women's man a match, an eight man match, and a fatal four way after this. So this is gonna be a lot of matches. Um, of course, the women's match, Esther Jack was kidnapped by the entity. So we have to, I guess, decide uh, what we're going to do about that. So we'll see. And look here, Newson and Blunak, despite their odds, working together as a team tonight against the, the cheating big boys. That's what they're called. And Newson applies the submission lock in. And Juggernaut, you see that? That is your future. That is your future at Extreme Rules. You cheaters didn't win. And the big boys have finally fallen tonight. Oh, I love it. Even though I was ejected, and I, you know, I'm very mad at that referee, but in the end, cheaters never prosper. I was just trying to get in the ring and uh, stop Jason X from, you know, interfering. You know, there, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, he was trying to interfere, and then I slipped and fell. I didn't even touch the man. I slipped and fell. And then, oh, I know my, my hand, by accident, knocked Jason X off of his platform, but that doesn't count. It's outside the ring. Kingpin was outside the ring. And he gets to do whatever he wants, including waste pancakes. So yeah, I'm ticked. Anyway, let's go ahead and start this fatal four-way. It's uh, the number one contendership for the cruiserweight title. Here's Gorgi.
Hey, Gorgie is ready for battle, indeed. It's gonna be a good one, guys, tonight. So Gorgie's the first cruiserweight. This all requires a fatal four-way between all cruiserweights tonight. And here comes Jimmy Yo-Yo, who has um, been in a little bit of a sort of rivalry with Newsom Barafia. Um, Newsom says he is not a good role model for kids. Uh, there is no denying that. Uh, at the same time, I don't think Jimmy's, you know, no offense to Newsom, but I don't think Jimmy's trying to be a role model. Um, but still, he's here and there's kids watching this show. And, uh, yeah, it's getting out of control. And I don't even know what that guy's doing. He, he has, like, very, all, I swear, all these people in the crowd, they have these, it's, they have these phases of mania and then depression. I don't get it. What is going on with the crowd? They, they're just, and Goriax, by the way, has parted ways with his brother, as you can see. And he will be in action. Uh, this might be his first singles match in a long time. Um, so, yeah. In our eight-man match, I'll discuss that later once it starts. Because it's going to be an interesting match. And Mentally Sinister's number four. Here, he's also the last cruiserweight. All these guys are on FLH. We got tons of cruiserweights on FLH, like tons. And a fatal four-way match for tonight. So, whoever wins this will face Noose and Barafia. Oh, man. We're going to see some crazy moves like what Gorgie just did. We're going to see a lot of high-flying moves tonight. And mentally going for the pin here. Can he get it? And a kick out there. And look at Jimmy. Oh my goodness, lands right on G Gorgie. So all these guys are cruiserweights here tonight. And this is going to be a very interesting match between the four of these guys.
And look at Jimmy here. Bam. And I don't think this is elimination. I think they they just got to do like one pin or submission and it's done. Jimmy with a terrible save. Look at Gorgie. Oh, man. Gorgie's definitely got some cool moves he could use in his arsenal. And Jimmy saves the pin. This is going to be a fun match, guys. I love it already. Seeing all. Oh, man. Gorgie. He's got the moves. One of these cruiserweights will face off with my boy Newsom. Oh man. Oh, and yo yo. Oh my goodness, that had to hurt the Gor Goryax and Gorgie stops it. So good save there by Gorgie. Oh again, Goryax is handing out low blows. <laughs> oh my goodness, and <laughs> Jimmy has to save it uh, this time. What a match. And Gorgie Gor X better watch out because Gorgie's getting right back up. And uh, Gorgie's not even paying attention to him. He's after him mentally. And oh! Jimmy saves the submission on that one. And Gorgie X is still laying up top on the turnbuckle. This has been a crazy match. Look at mentally here. Look at this. Look at this. Pow. What a move. And Gory X is still still sort of uncon- Uh-oh, he's going to fly. Oh, my goodness. He almost connected that, but he didn't. And Jimmy with a big move there. And Jimmy's going for the pin. Gorgie stops it this time. Trying to get in the finisher here. And he connects. Jimmy gets laid out. And, uh -oh. oh, Gorgie saves the pin again. Oh, nice. Middle, he kicked him in the head. He could win this. Oh, that is sick. And Goryax has to... Oh, man. Gorgie bar barely kicked out of that. What a move by Middle. And Middle, he's going for another kick. And uh, Gory X isn't going to allow it this time. There's no way he's going to allow that to happen again. And I have no idea who's going to pull this one off. But whoever does it is going to be the best option for Noose and Barafia. That is for sure.
and Yo-Yo. Low blow on Glory X right back at him. Oh my goodness, what a low blow. And look at this. Yo-Yo, oh man. And Yo-Yo setting it up. Oh my goodness. And Yo-Yo's going for the pin. Mentally's right on it. Gorgie then hits both mentally and the pin. And Gorgie, look here. Oh my goodness, what a move by Gorgie. This is a crazy high-flying match for sure. We've had some high-flying moments. There's no doubt about it. Mentally could be out. Um... And look at Gorgie. Oh, man. And Gorgie X is going to try to steal the pin. And Gorgie saves it. He's going to try to steal his own pin. And look. Oh, man. Gorgie's not going to have to get a vasectomy now. That's official. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that had to hurt. I felt that one. Ugh. Look at mentally here. Look at this. Oh my. The referee got hit, so he can't count the pin. And the mentally, oh, kick to the head again. And Gorgi X is distracted, kicking Gorgi. He's not even looking here. And it's over. And Gorgi gets kicked in the mouth right after the bell rang. Ref getting one to. Uh, Glory X, but he didn't even know what was happening. And it looks like Mentally Sinister and Noosin Barathea will have a showdown. Oh my goodness, this match was so brutal, but at the same time, so great. Uh, a very enjoyable match, no doubt about it. Could have went either any way possible. It just depended on the perfect timing, and Mentally Sinister had the perfect timing, so he will face off with Noosin Barathea. At Extreme Rules. And Yo-Yo's out. He's out cold. Hey guys, let me explain this match and how it's going to go. This match is the first ever made match that we've ever done. It's a first blood elimination match, but we like to call it, if you bleed, then you leave. Because that's what it's going to be called. If you bleed, you leave. Um, basically, if you have, if you, if your face bleeds, you're out of this match. So, it's all up to, which Punisher, his face is already scarred up. And Pinhead has pins in his head. So, that's kind of a disadvantage. But anyway... Um, it's an eight-man first blood elimination match. If they bleed, they leave. That's all that. <laughs> that's all there is to it. And here we go. We'll see who bleeds first. And then our main event will be the women's match. Uh, we got to determine, I guess, the number one contender since uh, Esther Jack has uh, been basically kidnapped by this entity. So we got a lot of people in this match. We got a lot of uh, people that are just, everyone in this match is completely hardcore. Whether it's in the kitchen or whether it's uh, um, being a doll in general. Uh, I mean, these people are hardcore. They don't play around. None of these guys do. Uh, so this is what's going to make it a, such a wonderful match here tonight. Is the fact that all these guys are on a whole different level. Their mentality is at least.
And this is going to be a good one. And look here. Oh, man. Hellraiser dropped. Uh, I mean, Pinhead dropped on the steel steps. By the way, they got replaced. They look a lot better now. I, I forgot to mention that the last match. He replaced them uh, during the entrances. And, uh, yeah. He, he did his job. But, at, but the point is he was late. He was late. And, uh, I, first of all, I don't know how still steps get rusty, but I guess it's a possibility. Uh, but anyway. Looks like uh, Pinhead bled, so he bled. I forgot to uh, say that, but uh, he's out of this match. And we are officially down to seven people. Pinhead's the first one to bleed. It's cut, probably because he has pins in his head. They got just shoved further in, and now he's bleeding. So yeah, that's probably why he got eliminated first. Look at the Punisher here. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know, Gordon Ramsay might not like the Punisher's cooking, but the Punisher doesn't like him. So it doesn't matter. Oh man, Punisher continues to destroy his enemies in this match. Look here, again. Goodness, and now he's going after Leatherface. Look at this, bam. There, those will help too. I think after a samurai got eliminated, I'm not 100 percent on that. Oh man, Gordon Ramsay with a kick to the face on Chucky. I thought he did. Yeah. And we are down to six now. Oh man, oh that was a mean move by Leatherface. Waiting until Blade was mid-air and then punching him with all that weight on his back. That was that was just downright mean. That's a dirty shame right there. And uh oh, look at Punisher. Oh man, he's teasing Leatherface. I bet you he loves fighting Leatherface. And bam! And everybody's going after Leatherface now. 
Oh my goodness, he's getting punched left and right. Oh, nice move by the chef. This is an all-out war here tonight. We're down to six in this match. Oh, man. And now the chef's getting double teamed. Oh, my goodness. And chef versus the Punisher. Gordon Ramsay didn't like Frank Castle's scallops. I guess. I don't know what's going on. Oh, man. This is getting out of control here. Can't keep up with nothing. Look at Chucky. He's really, he's really hitting that weight room. Apparently. Scorpion with the DDT. Chef still in it. Look at Blake. Oh my goodness. Bam. And Blade misses. Oh man, Blade with a big kick there. Oh, Blade makes the chef bleed. And Gordon Ramsay's out. What a kick. Oh man, he busted him pretty good. That was nice. That was a cool move. We're down to five now. Punisher again. And Gordon Ramsay has left. Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> no, he he's left he's left Hell's Ring. The fight like Hell Ring. FLH is kicking off and oh oh Leatherface is bled. Wait a second. What? Didn't he just bleed? How could, wait, maybe it was Chucky. Did I see that correctly? And the Punisher's bleeding, but Leatherface should have been eliminated, I think. Did the referee not catch it? Chucky, is he even, he, look, he looks like he's bleeding. But how? Leather, he didn't get hit. What? what? Maybe you guys could explain this to me because I don't know how Leatherface isn't bleeding. But Chucky is. It looks like it at least. I can't really tell from this angle, but this is going to be very controversial. Leatherface has eliminated Blade. Blade is bleeding. So we're down to two now. Scorpion and Leatherface. And everybody's standing outside or laying outside the ring except for Chucky. 
What is going on here? And it looks like Scorpion takes the win. So despite, you know, the controversy there at the end, Scorpion wins. Um, I don't know. Did Chucky ever bleed? Like, how did he bleed? Like, I, I, I have no clue, but Scorpion wins, so it doesn't really matter in the end. Uh, or does it? <laughs> so, uh, you guys can tell me uh, on the live chat or on the comments what you thought. Like, like it looked like Leatherface bled, and he got away with it for a while. And anyway, let's go to the main event. <laughs> we have a women's match for our main event. And it's going to be a good one. And Tiffany Tyson is here. The one, the only. The fiance of Mentally Sinister. I don't know if you could see the ring on her finger. She's got like a, yeah, there it is. The orange skull ring that he gave her. It's glowing a little on the uh, right side. It's technically her left hand, but it's on the, it'll be on your right side. If you guys don't notice that. I thought that was really cool. They added the ring to it. And, um... Tiffany is ready for battle. The show go must go on, even without Esther Jack here. We got to determine who is going to uh, fight for the women's title here tonight. Crowd seems a little pumped up. Now that guy's angry. See how emotional they get? Like, I don't get it. And here comes Carissa. Like I said, we're going to have some big matches tonight. This is our last match of the night. The women's division is here. And Carissa, of course, is the fiance of, well, the girlfriend of Daniel D. It's either, either his girlfriend or fiance. I can't keep up with his women. I've given up that. Who is going to be number three in this match? It is Denitra. Denitra is here tonight. And this is going to be a battle. I cannot wait to see this match. I just cannot. Denitra, of course, if you guys didn't know, she does not have a boyfriend if you guys are interested <laughs> um but uh she is the aunt of the blue neck so she's an old boy. she's real old don't tell her i said that though don't tell her i said that so technically she's in her 40s 50s what is this lashana is here all of a sudden Oh my goodness, this is a six-man tag match. What in the world? Lashana is here. Um, oh, wow. Could this be a new stable? Holy... Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. Wow. Lashana, Melissa, Alma, Adele. Together as one tonight. All right. This is a six-man tag. Whoever wins this match, I guess, will face off in a triple threat match. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Marry me, I'm single. 
And here we go. These women are ready to fight like hell. They get the main event tonight. They should be proud of themselves. This is going to be a good one. It's a two out of three falls, by the way. Takes two pins to win this one. Oh, man. Melissa cracks the Nitra pretty good. And Shauna, another nice move here. Look at Melissa needing the head on Denitra. And now going for the pin here. Well, this is perfect. And a kick out there by Denitra. And Tiffany going for the pin. This is a perfect timing as well. Kick out by Alma. And Denitra, oh, choke slam on the knee. And this is a fight and a half here. We wanted this. We haven't seen the women's division in a while. We saw it on CTL not too long ago. But now we're seeing it here. Oh, man. And Denitra levels Melissa. We'll probably see it on CTL this week. I don't know when we're going to drop that. That could be Saturday. Could be as soon as Saturday or, or Sunday. So just uh, stay tuned for that. That could be real soon, actually. And Tiffany's in a submission, but it looks like Tiffany Tyson gets out. And now Denitra's in a submission. Tiffany uh, interferes with it. Oh man, Melissa, what a nice move there. And Melissa with a kick to the head. And Melissa going for the pin, Denitra saves the pin though. Oh, drop kick. Doesn't matter how big Denitra is, Melissa will drop her. Look at Melissa here. Oh, perfect timing. And going for the pin. Everyone's down. Denitra could get in there perhaps, but kick out there by Carissa, so it doesn't matter. And now it's Blue Knack's girlfriend versus his aunt tonight. Lashana's his aunt. Of course, Melissa and Alma Adele, they could have something going on. And Tiffany. Oh. And uh-oh, Denitra. Wait a second. We got a point. Lashana made Denitra tap. So that is one point for Melissa's team. It's Melissa versus Tiffany's team, basically. That's what I'm going to call. Look at Alma Adele. Denitra's not having a good time tonight. At all. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> My goodness. Look there, Demetra gets slammed. Then Lashana on top of her. Awesome. That was amazing. What a, and Carissa saves it. So they're all going after Demetra. She's been the most damaged of the crew. Uh, they're just hitting her with everything. It's like and Lashana here. Oh, another shot. So now Lashana's going for the pin. Referee is. Oh my goodness. And a kick out there by Denitra. And now Lashana's got a finisher. Denitra can't catch a break. Uh-oh. Yes, she can. Look at this. Choke slam. Oh, my goodness. 
And look there at Alma Adele. Oh, look at this submission she's got Denitra in. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's done. Match is over. Match is over. And the women's division wins. Oh my, well, technically they're all from the women's division. Wow. What a match that was, guys. To kick off the, the main event here. What a lovely match that was. It looks like Melissa, Alma, and Lashana, who are all friends, will be battling for the triple threat match here um, at Extreme Rules. And wow, it's going to be a good one, guys. All three uh, of these women are very talented. Don't take away the talent from the other team as well. But these three really stand out. And they win big tonight. And wow, what a performance overall by Melissa, Lashana, and Alma here. And definitely a good one, it was. Wait a second, the lights just went out. What in the world's this? Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh no! It's here! Oh my goodness, Mommy Gombi! That's, that's her name! Oh my goodness. Ladies, you need to run. Do not hold your ground. I repeat, do not hold your ground. Oh my goodness, it's here. The entity has finally been revealed. Oh my goodness, what is this thing? Oh my goodness, these women need to get out of here and immediately. The Mommy Gombi is here. Oh my goodness, the lights went out. The crowd is just like scared out of their minds of what's gonna happen here tonight. This is how we kick off the end of FLH. Oh my goodness, it's here. Oh my goodness, it can teleport. That's how it's getting away so quick. Oh my goodness, we're about to have a showdown, guys. You might want to close your eyes. Oh my goodness. And oh, grab Melissa by the throat. Threw her across the ring. Look at Lashana. Kicks her right in the skull. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my good. and look here. Oh no, Alma through the barricade. It's taking out all the women's division. Look, it can teleport so quickly. Drops Denitra through the table. Oh my goodness, and look here, Carissa through the barricade. Oh my goodness, Tiffany. Where's Tiffany at? Tiffany, run! Tiffany made it backstage and she's running. Get John Cena out of there. Get him out of there. The mommy Gombi is, is is attacking the backstage. Oh my goodness. And, and get the makeup woman out. Go, run, run, get out of here. Oh, oh God. She just teleported in front of Tiffany. And oh my goodness. And Tiffany better get out of there. The mommy Gombi is chasing her. Oh my goodness. This is frightening as can be. And look here, it caught her, teleported her, and threw her through the door. Oh my goodness, all six women. The women's division has been crushed. We, yes, yeah, the, the uh, ladies and gentlemen, the police are here. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, we need to find these women immediately because the uh, everybody's looking for her now and they can, nobody can find them. They're all gone, all six of them are gone. 
The women's division is gone. They have disappeared. I repeat, they have disappeared.